So basically, heart attack is a condition when the artery or the vessel which is supplying to heart gets blocked 100%. So there is no blood supply to that part of area and that causes heart attack. And if delayed, then the damage continues and the heart muscle gets weakened and then it leads to heart failure. So basically, this is heart attack. So uh, it's not like that it is a sudden heart attack. The arteries get uh, they get narrowed over uh, uh, many years of actually period. And when you see there is actually a blockage of cholesterol then because of uh, bad lifestyle, obesity, diabetes, uh, and especially uncontrolled high blood pressure, sedentary lifestyle when a person is just uh, sticking to his bed, he's not walking. And uh, especially uh, and during corona times, we have seen a lot of cases uh, that there was actually a stagnancy in our lifestyle. So that all cause actually gradual buildup of blockages in artery supplying heart and that ultimately gets 100% blocked one day and that causes heart attack. So these, this is basically what is causing heart attack. So the commonest sign, uh, commonest symptom I must say, it is actually chest tightness, sudden onset chest tightness or chest discomfort or pain and that pain or tightness or discomfort can actually radiate to both shoulders, both arms or jaws and even sometimes in women especially it has been seen that it can occur around the epigastrium or our stomach and with breathlessness or shortness of breath, what we call is air hunger. So whenever there is chest pain or tightness or breathlessness along with air hunger or sweating even in most of the cases, the, these are the actual pre predominant symptoms of heart attack. So golden hour is actually when we refer to treatment of a heart attack, like I said earlier, when a artery is blocked 100%, so we have only one hour to revert all those damage damages occurring in the heart. So when whenever any artery is 100% blocked, there is less of blood supply to that part of area of heart and that part actually gets a lot of damage if it is not, if the blockage is not actually reverted or opened within one hour, that is called golden hour and in our cardiology, Downs, we call it time is muscle. So if, if any patient who has got symptom of heart attack and if he reaches in our emergency or any emergency nearby, which is uh, any hospital which is well equipped with all the, um, uh, the, the machines or all the equipments which is actually needed, which are actually needed to open that artery along with expertise personnel there, especially the system which is actually running, which is actually taking care of heart attack patient daily, then that artery can be opened in one hour. If we open that artery within one hour, then around 95 to 99% of patients, they actually recover fully and heart muscle doesn't get any damage and in the future life and the outcomes are very good in that case. So uh, there can be non-cardiac chest pain also, which actually we often take as a, as a gas pain or as any acidity pain. So to differentiate these two important things, and, and you know that acidity is quite common. Uh, when, whenever there is a chest pain with air hunger, as I uh, talked earlier, whenever there is any chest pain with sweating, with breathlessness, when there is air hunger, patient wants to go out for air. So that, that actually, that, those symptoms are actually very typical of heart attack. But when there is a gas or acidity, it gets relieved by antacids or the counter medicines which are available. And it actually gets a relief very rapidly after those antacids and anti-acidity medicines. But if any pain or discomfort, like I said earlier, it is continuing even after taking all those antacids or gas pills after half an hour or even after one hour, it is continuing along with sweating, perspiration and a lot of discomfort, ghabrat which is a very typical actually uh, complaint whenever patient comes to us. So that actually points to a heart attack. Very, very important thing is that no, no age is exempt, exempted from heart attack. So what, what we have seen in uh, last few months, so you can say over the last one year, especially after Corona period, we, have, we are getting a lot of young heart attacks. Now, over the last three months, I have treated around 45 heart attack patients with uh, a technique called primary angioplasty when uh, the artery which is blocked is opened within one hour and patient gets full relief, heart, heart actually gets full recovery and patient goes home after two days. So if we are aware of that symptom, very important thing to prevent anything is awareness. If there is awareness among people, if they know that what causes heart attack and what is actually a symptom of heart attack, so they, they can reach an emergency well in time and we can treat that heart attack. So basically what we have to look at is our lifestyle. So if we follow a very healthy, balanced lifestyle, I think we can get rid of most of the heart diseases, 
keep on uh, keep, keep a check on your blood pressure keep a check on your sugars keep a check on your cholesterol whatever age is more than 20 years of age we should do it every two two yearly or if it if, if any patient is around 35 or 40 years of age then we should do it yearly preventive checkups which we call and which we are offering here